Is there really arsenic in our rice? Yes, and it's way worse than you think. In this video, I'm going to answer some key questions. Which types of rice are the worst offenders? How does arsenic get into our rice in the first place? And so you don't completely lose the will to live, I'm going to share some simple practical steps you can take to stay healthy and keep your sanity. Okay, lovely people, what's the first thing you think of when you hear the word arsenic? Poison, right? Because arsenic is the stuff that was used in rat poison for decades. And chemical warfare, and Agatha Christie novels, a colorless, odorless, tasteless group one carcinogen used to assassinate people and pests. And it's been used in agricultural pesticides and herbicides. Even though it's now disappeared from common use, the footprint of all that arsenic still remains in our environment, contaminating our soil and water and rice. Yes, rice has far higher levels of arsenic than other foods. And astonishingly, the very highest levels of arsenic, levels that are deemed unsafe by the FDA, are found in baby foods made from rice products. How is this even a thing? First off, let's be clear about which kind of arsenic we're talking about. Arsenic is a naturally occurring element present in our soil. We call this organic arsenic. It's far less toxic than what's called inorganic arsenic. That's the stuff that concerns us here. But why is there so much of it in rice? Well, most of the world's rice is grown in flooded paddies, which makes it particularly prone to absorbing arsenic, around 10 times more than other cereals. The rice takes it up from the soil or the water and stores it in its seeds. That's the part we eat. Quick side note, flooded rice fields cause all kinds of crazy, like producing immense amounts of harmful greenhouse gases. Yet rice is not a naturally aquatic grass and contrary to popular belief, does not need to grow in standing water. So why is most of the world's rice grown in patties? You can find the answer in my How Does It Grow episode. I'll drop a link below and I'll make sure you can click through to it at the end of this video. Now, back to rat poison. In one of the largest studies of world rice, in which 5,800 samples were tested, American rice averaged the highest arsenic levels in the world. And that's because most of our rice is grown on former cotton fields where, you guessed it, Arsenic was used extensively. Remember, even though these pesticides have been banned, thousands of tons of arsenic have toxified the soil, fields that are now rice paddies in southern states like Arkansas and Texas. In fact, the varieties they grow are selected for their tolerance of arsenic. The good news, or at least the better news, is that California-grown rice is not tainted by that cotton industry legacy. The arsenic level in their samples were found to be comparable with the rest of the world. So now you're thinking, okay, so if I eat organic rice, I'm safe, right? Sorry. Organic farming practices will keep a lot of other chemicals out of your rice. But remember, the arsenic from former farming practices is still there in our soil and water. Oh, oh, what about brown rice? Everyone knows brown rice is healthier. Well, in vitamins and fiber, yes. In arsenic, no. In fact, brown rice is hands down the worst offender, containing 80% more arsenic than white rice. That's because the nutritious parts of the grain, the bran and the germ, which are stripped from white rice, do the best job at storing arsenic. What about wild rice? Well, wild rice isn't actually rice. It's an entirely different grain, and it is a naturally aquatic grass. However, the same issues stand. The water that it grows in has to be free of inorganic arsenic. And unfortunately, some areas around the Great Lakes where most of America's wild rice grows have been tainted by heavy metals like arsenic, in this case, from copper mining. And just a quick reminder, arsenic is a cancer-causing compound that's been phased out of a multitude of products, not just rat poison and chemical weapons, arsenic was also used in paints. And as an embalming fluid, it was a preservative in pressure-treated wood and an additive in chicken feed. 
But the common thread here is that the arsenic in all these products has been phased out, and yet it's still allowed at disturbingly high levels in baby food. Baby food. Okay, deep breath. In a 2019 study, 73% of baby foods were found to contain arsenic, including some marquee named organic brands. According to tests by Consumer Reports, which for years has been calling on the Food and Drug Administration to set stricter limits, arsenic levels in infant rice cereals are many times higher than other cereal foods like oatmeal. And so in 2020, the FDA finally proposed its long-delayed guidance on heavy metals and baby foods. But it's just guidance. It's simply recommended, not required by the only agency in this country that's in charge of keeping our food safe. Okay, okay. So to wrap up, here are four things you can do to at least minimize your arsenic intake. One, rinse your rice several times. This may be the most important thing you can do to cut the arsenic in your rice. My family eats basmati like it's going out of style, but we always give it at least three rinses before cooking. Two, make sure to boil your rice in plenty of water and then discard the water. Think of it like boiling pasta. Experts even recommend parboiling, draining, and then finishing the boil in a second pot of fresh water. I'll drop a link below to the study they did on this. Three, Get your kids off rice-based foods and consider other cereals like oatmeal. Oh, and while you're at it, ease up on the fruit juice and the sweet potatoes. That's a whole other can of heavy metals, but that's for another time. And finally, four, and this may be a little controversial, consider favoring white rice over brown rice. It's not for me to say you should cut out brown rice altogether. Everything's a trade-off, right? Do the nutritional benefits of brown rice outweigh the arsenic levels? I don't think that's a simple yes or no, but if you're really motivated to eat your brown rice because it is delicious, see if you can source your brown rice from areas without a history of arsenic, and even better, where it's grown using dryland methods instead of patties, like the rice grown by this farmer, Nazirak, who you can meet right now in one of my all-time favorite How Does It Grow episodes.